Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name, and in this video, we're gonna talk about millionaires, specifically about education and millionaires. Now, in case you don't know, I'm an accountant, okay? So I've done the classes, I've done the research papers, I've taken the economics classes, I've been held to the fire when it came to uh, careers and, and understanding education and things like that. Now, there's so many misconceptions out there that are in the general public with no real foundational knowledge whatsoever. And I am here to kind of answer the questions about education and about being a millionaire, okay? Uh, the, the chances of you becoming a millionaire with a degree versus without a degree those kinds of questions. Okay, now, we all have heard different things. I've heard many times that get a degree or, you know, uh, I've also heard why get a degree? If you really wanna be rich or if you really wanna be a millionaire, getting a degree is not the way to do it. You're gonna be a worker. And I've heard uh, at the same time, hey, get a degree and uh, it'll help change your life and you can, you know, um, you, you, yeah, it'll help you get a job, but you know, you can, you can still get rich with a job. So I've heard all of these different things. We've all heard all these different things. I've seen people posting, giving people advice saying, don't go to college. It's a waste of time. Or I know someone who went to college and they don't have a job or they don't have anything there, you know, and I never went to college and I just went to work and I'm good. And so there's all of these different ideals behind what you should do. And I don't think that most people have ever actually looked up or done the research to find out what the proper thing or the proper information really is. And I, I kind of understand why. Now, in case you don't know, I am from 32304, which is, Tall is in Tallahassee. Uh, it's a neighborhood in Tallahassee. It's the poorest zip code in the state of Florida. So I had to also overcome a lot of mentality, uh, negative mentalities towards school or, or perspectives. But I'm here with the real numbers right now. Now, even though I'm going to provide you with numbers, I'm also going to provide you with some sort of context to go along with this. Now, when you come, like, when thinking about should you become, like, if you want to become a millionaire, should you uh, go to college? Should you get a degree? Um, and knowing that so many people say that, yeah, I got a degree and I'm a millionaire, but it's not because I got a degree. Or that they got, um, they, they got to become a millionaire without a degree. There's so many things being said. We need more context. Now, the numbers would say, According to the Dave Ramsey research, 88% of millionaires, which is the largest study of millionaires ever conducted, 88% of millionaires have a college degree. 88%. 88%. Now, let's, let's just round that down. Let's say on a larger scale, maybe 80% of millionaires have a bachelor's degree or higher. 80%. That's down from 88%. I'm giving, I'm helping where I can, okay? So at 80% of millionaires have a bachelor's degree or higher, 52% of millionaires have a master's degree or higher. 52%. 88% have graduated from any, some sort of college. But let's just say 80% of millionaires have at least a bachelor's degree or higher. Now, when knowing that, that means that you have a you have a uh, you have a ten, you have a twenty percent chance, a one in five, to become a millionaire without a degree. One in five people, one in five millionaires, become a millionaire without a degree. You have an eighty percent greater chance to become a millionaire with a bachelor's degree or higher. That is the real. Forget all the stuff that these people are saying. Now, do you need to have a degree to become a millionaire? No, no. But I think that is misunderstood as saying um, how much harder the road is. Your road is five times harder 
getting becoming a millionaire without a degree. That's just what the numbers support. Now, does that mean that everybody who uh, who became a millionaire needed their degree to become a millionaire, or they they're working in their degree? No, that's not saying that. And I think and that's where people are getting confused because they have people telling them who have degrees and they are millionaires or on the road to becoming a millionaire. And they're telling people, man, that degree ain't doing nothing for me. And I would say, I disagree. Now, you know, that's just my opinion, right? Because of course there's different situations for different things. And I understand that there's people who have a degree and they have their own business and they're not using their psychology degree or their communications degree in their pottery business. I understand that. I just feel like college increases, uh, increases, mm, what does it increase? Confidence, yes. College increases confidence. It makes you more confident in, in the world, feeling like you have options. It is documented that a higher educated society is a safer society. Just is what it is. It increases confidence. You feel like you have more options. You can go do something else. I know that if I were to, say, lose a job, I don't feel the same level of stress having my accounting degree and knowing that I can go out and work in the space of accounting that I would feel if I didn't have that degree, you know? So it's things like that, that I, um, I just feel like you, you get the confidence to go out into the world. But on another note, when you think about the five, I think it was the five most uh, noted career paths that produce millionaires, um, doctors, lawyers, accountants, engineers, and for whatever reason, teachers. I don't know how teachers got in there, but that's what it is. And so those are the five most common uh, careers that produce millionaires. So, of course, to become a doctor, what you got to have to become a doctor? A degree. Okay? What do you got to have to become a lawyer? A degree. Okay? Matter of fact, both... Doctors and lawyers, you need multiple degrees. Third, accountants. What do you got to have to become an accountant? A degree. What do you got to have to become an engineer? A degree. Now, teachers, I guess you could be a paraprofessional. I don't know. Well, I'm sure, like, you know, professors got to have a degree. Certain type of teachers, um, you definitely got to have a degree. Um, I just don't know if they have some, some, some other form of teachers that you can... I don't know. But, of course, teachers, you got to have a degree. Um, so, you know, all five of those, you have to have a degree. Now, is it possible to not get a degree? Yes. And, and still make a million dollars? Yes. It's just the road is five times harder. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of dispel that, that myth, that thought that, ah, uh, I don't need a degree because I literally see people commenting on other people's posts and say, well, most millionaires don't even have a degree. And that is not true. Most millionaires actually have a degree. Most millionaires have a bachelor's degree or higher. It just is what it is. So let's let's stop all the fake. Let's stop the making up stuff. Most millionaires have a bachelor's degree or higher. 80% of millionaires have a bachelor's degree or higher. Let's stop the foolishness, all right? Anyway, right now you're watching Casino as a Name. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we out. Yeah, hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.